Good morning, everybody. It's Duke. Uh, this is a Montgomery Ward's tiller. I don't know how old it is. It's five horse. Uh, I can't even remember where they put the damn model number on these things at. It needs a muffler because it's rusted out. Word checked and it's getting fired. It's got good oil in it. I have no long I have no idea how long it's been since it's been run. Uh it belongs to a neighbor of mine. Got a bring, another guy bringing in a lot more this afternoon or this morning around right 9 o'clock. It's uh, about 8 now, I believe. Yeah, maybe that's right. Need a filter. That's right. I don't even know how long it misses to run. Uh, last night. Take that tank out. <coughs> I don't know how much money he wants to put in it. That tank don't look that bad. It's got a little rust in it. Nothing I can't clean out of. I guess y'all want to see that, don't you? Let's see. I don't know if I can get a picture of it or not. Oh, God, that light's bright. Let's see. See there? Got a little rust in the bottom. I'll uh, fill up one of my 50 gallon buckets of uh, rust remover and uh, let it sit in that for a couple of days. There's no hurry on it. Let's see what that piston looks like. Took the plug out, cleaned it. I did quite a bit on it until I realized that I had forgotten my camera up on the porch. God. It's good in there. A little bit of carbon build up. Nothing serious, no water damage. It's been kept inside. Uh, trying to remind myself not to pull with my left arm. Yeah. I'm going to walk myself to death this morning. As I said before, it's getting good uh, 
right up here slide you down so Sixty pounds. All right. Now I'm gonna allow for this long hose, hose, because that's gonna make a difference. I need to find my adapter that fits right into it. almost 90 so with the length of this hose I'm gonna give it 90 percent that should be more than enough to crank it
I've got to get my fans out. Got my overhead fan on. That's not going to be enough. This is uh, my two cycle fuel. I use that to start engines with. I'm not use an ether. I have some that I can use if I need to. This is your crank. Cut y'all for a bit. Okay, yeah, I don't see no reason to cut y'all. I'm gonna take that car off. Take that uh, cover off. Okay, we'll take the exhaust off of this one first. This is almost identical to the lawnmower. I mean, still or this. My dad had, and uh, he came on. He come on one one afternoon. He just bought the tiller. And it was a it was a craftsman, and it had an eight horse on it. It's a bigger tiller than this. <laughs> Just after he came home, I come rolling up the road on a go kart that I built. He said, "Nice motor. Where'd you get it?" I said, "Oh, I borrowed it from somebody I know." <laughs> he said, "Yeah, well, he said, take care of it. And make sure it's back on there." When we need it. And he can't say he didn't like my go kart because he, he liked riding sometimes as much as I did. This tank, I mean, it's, it's not rusted out that bad, it's rusted right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right on top. Uh, the exhaust port looks good. Doesn't have a gasket on it. It stayed on the okay, it stayed on the muffler. Okay. Now I'm going to disconnect this carburetor. Well, I hope that other one's that easy. I 
I've got a carburetor kit for this thing, but I don't know. Well, I think I do anyway. I don't know if it's the exact same one that I need or not. Get it out and look at it. <laughs> Take that carburetor off and find out. What parts I want to need. Do it, take this cover it, clean tank off first. Get it out of the way. I want to take it all off together, but I guess I ain't.
Here's another bolt on that thing somewhere. I knew it was. Ha <laughs> ha. 